Hey guys, welcome to your Twin Flame Collective reading. So let's see what sort of energies the collective is dealing with and will be dealing with. Let's see what energies are coming the collective's way. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> And on the bottom of the deck we do have the Empress. Okay. So let's see the clarifiers before we dive in any deeper. Let's see the clarifiers for the collective, please. And on the bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, the collective I am tapping into right now is a very uh, driven, Spirit is giving me the word driven uh, collective. Um, I feel an energy of um determination clarity of goals even if i do sense that um there's quite a bit of a way to go before actually achieving uh, particular goals and that's because for this particular collective i'm sensing a lot of um flexibility when it comes to the path you could be working down towards your goal meaning um, let's say right your ultimate goal as twin flames is to achieve your divine union at some point so there are many 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 ways to get there and for this particular collective it's like at every step there are not two options but perhaps three four five six seven eight options of different tangents, different uh, walkways if you'd like, and you could go whichever way because all of these um, kind of spread out tangents, all of them actually lead you towards your desired goal. So this is not a situation where you make a right or a wrong choice. This is more of a situation where each path you might be choosing is going to involve a specific set of uh, lessons to learn, specific timelines, um, so it's um, like a kind of a, like kind of like a multiple choice uh, sort of situation in regards to how you are going to get to your end result and one of the two twins in this dynamic is very drawn to the idea of exploring, very drawn to the idea of um, perhaps traveling, uh, being always on the move, always changing, always shifting, always transmuting. Um, so it's that kind of um, energy where someone is constantly looking to... Um, be in the flow let's say i'm getting the spirit is giving me this particular example for instance um people who take on the van life right so 
people who constantly travel, they are constantly dealing with um, ever-changing environments, new groups or communities or um, sections of communities of people always being on the go, um, always testing yourself in a way um, to adjust to ever-changing uh, circumstances as well. Um, for instance, this could be someone who um, works in design or in craft craftsmanship, where you are constantly in the flow of creativity. You are constantly in the flow of uh, adjusting to vi various energies. This is also the energy of someone working in the healing, for instance, department, whether it's traditional medicine or alternative energy healing, uh, crystal healing, all of that, uh, aromatherapy, essential oils. Um, so this, uh, there, there's a very strong energy here for at least one of you, if not both of you in the twin flame dynamic where you are constantly in the flow, constantly in the flow. And um, you do feel called towards a specific sort of destination. When you feel called to go in that direction, I feel like you are able to pretty much leave everything behind you and simply focus on moving forward. And... There's a bit of a, um, like a Sagittarius sort of energy where you have the spark to explore the, the kind of the voracious curiosity in a way, um, adjusting, exploring, connecting to new situations, new people, new outlooks, new end results. Um, and at the same time, it, it does feel like a profitable like a productive way of life as well, um, which for you that could mean having enough to eat from one day to the, to the next or having enough to cover the expenses of um, your household or your family or uh, being able to, I don't know, uh, have cars for everyone in the family or um, go to specific um vacations or uh, destinations or um, it's gonna change what exactly that means based on each of your specific values but the person I'm tapping into right now that energy the collective this is someone who feels very blessed through what they are doing they feel very rewarded and it's as if even if you may seem like you cannot afford to do something or that you may not have the time to do something in a specific situation or that you may not have the resources for whatever reason to do something, it's like last minute, out of the blue, something comes through and you have the resources, the time, the support, the help, the opportunity. It's that kind of... Um, um, kind of blessed energy and part of that is due to the fact that this collective works very much with the flow of energy they are very creative very ad adaptable very um, flexible very uh, curious and uh, very good at transmuting energies for yourselves and for others and there's a constant flow of opportunities coming your way. There's a constant flow of uh, potential new blessings. And it's simply a matter of following your intuition. It's simply a matter of truly tapping within your authentic self and embracing what you're finding there uh, and doing that bravely and uh, even daringly, I would say, in, in, in some cases, and that's not going to come uh, difficult to you because you have that free spirit energy. You have that um, thinking outside the box energy. You have that that creative spark. Um, and I'm getting the chills. Okay. So 
there's something very strong about creativity and your life journey at the very least in this um in this lifetime and you do raise the frequency pretty much every everywhere around you because you are constantly in the flow of creativity constantly in the flow of transmuting energy um this may be the energy of someone who seems to be a little bit of uh, of a daydreamer or someone who may seem to have their head up in the clouds because they're working with so much high frequency energy and they are transmuting so much all the time that people around you may find it kind of difficult to truly understand you, to uh, truly identify with you. There's a little bit of a rift there. I'm feeling a little bit of a rift. Um, but it's not necessarily a painful or like a rejection sort of energy. It's more of an energy of you going, uh, staying in your lane and others staying in their lane and everyone being uh, motivated and headed towards their specific end goal. So it's not a feeling of isolation or um, rejection or solitude. It's more of a feeling of um, pretty much everyone sticking, sticking to their lanes. Now, these may be twin flame couples where we have artists, singers, architects, um, designers, painters, um, landscape artists, um, I don't know, you name it, right? Musicians, actors, composers, filmmakers, you name it, you name it. It's that sector of creativity and for me healing also goes in that sector because it's a science if you think about traditional medicine it is a science of course but the way you apply that science it is actually also based on your specific uh, intuition skill so you may know all of the things in the world when you see something right before your eyes the way you connect that, that information, the way you tap into that information, the way you adjust those textbook definitions to what you are actually seeing before you, that's also an act of intuition <laughs> and spiritual guidance. So um, whoever sees science as some sort of cold and um, machine-like uh, process is actually losing the human human element of that which always brings to the table creativity intuition inspiration and the ability to, to transmute energies so there are multiple options here there are multiple opportunities there are um, I will say breaks in some cases on your twin flame journey but because you have so much going on anyway, uh, alongside your twin flame journey, you don't actually feel those breaks or you're, you don't actually feel those separations quite as harshly as other uh, twin flame collectives um, and connections uh, feel that because you have so much going on and um, I sense that your twin is also in, this, in a similar vibe. So you both have so much going on you are both transmitting so much energy that um, even when you go through near misses in your actual twin flame journey, um, it's not quite as traumatic as it might be, right? So you um, dust yourselves off and try again with much more, um, I would say, with a much more relaxed energy than others perhaps might which is very interesting to me. So let's see your uh, advice from spirit here. Very satisfied and fulfilling energy overall, I would say. And quite quite well balanced, and I'm really liking that. Quite well balanced. 
let's see your advice from spirit. Hmm. Is it is there any wonder, right? Because you have card number ten and it's the message of flow. It's a confirmation for me from spirit that you are in a great flow of energy with the universe. See? Blossom card number 20. <coughs> Sorry, which reduces to a 2. So, um, again, the flow of things, right? Flowing with things. Making things happen. Creating things. So this is the energy of uh, pretty much uh, f keep working on flowing with the energy as you are. Keep um, adjusting, keep uh, doing whatever you are doing right now and even more so to stick to this high frequency that you are oper operating on. You've done a lot of work on your Twin Flame journey, on your personal growth or you wouldn't be in this kind of a spot. So keep up the good work you have been doing so far because you are on point. On point. Now, in the extended, we are going to take a look at how this energy plays out for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine specifically. I hope you will join me there. If not, I'm sending you my highest vibes of unconditional love and support. And we'll be seeing you soon, okay? Bye!